welcome to King Cobbler's Kingdom. Yep, well, I'm just out here stalking around looking for some D-Lab treasure. Some of these guys here are a bit husky, you know what I mean? Well, it's a little confusing around here. Everybody kind of dresses the same. Hey, man, you could use a haircut. Okay there, chill dunk corn. If you want to be like me, all you got to do is get on the stick. Oh, yeah, looky there. Over there by that cobblestone. See what I see? Looks like a leisure suit amp. Utilizing my telepathic powers, I'm going to open this case. Let's check this out. So exactly as I thought, another D-Lab Leisure Suit amp hits the market. It's a little corny, but it's cool. So what did we found at D-Lab? Well, let's see what's inside the case. That's right, another suitcase amp made by D-Lab Electronics. This is a three water running a 6K6 and it's got tremolo. As usual, it's constructed in a vintage suitcase, this time made by Towncraft, and I believe it's from the 1940s. I build these pegboard decks, and it just drops in on a frame. So I've already taken out screws. It's fairly easy to lift all the workings out of the amp. So as I stated earlier, this old tweed suitcase was made by this company called Towncraft. Very nice tweed finish. And I built in this little wood frame that you see around the edges. And that's what holds the platform. All right, so let's zing up here. We'll take a look at the front panel. Okay, try and do this carefully. So it's actually constructed on a piece of perf board, pegboard, whatever you want to call it like you'd see tools hanging on in a shop. This here is a frame that came out of a old Voice of Music record player. So it's old vintage wood and it had the 6x9 cutout for the speaker that I'll show you in a minute. This framing here I built out of some brass and the front panel is actually printed on top of an old manual it's called Supreme Publications, Chicago, Illinois. If you look down here, it says uh, 1945. So I printed the new text on top of that and put some lamination over it and trapped it between the amp and the panel when it's put together, so it's permanent. There's a quarter inch jack here for an external speaker. This aluminum perforated metal you see here is actually ventilation for the tubes that are on the back side that I'll show you here in a minute. Front panel, let's zing in on that a little bit. We'll go over the control layout. This is obviously where you plug in your guitar. We've got volume, treble, and bass controls. This is an old jewel light. It's actually glass, right? So it's not going to melt. And this is an old Carling power switch. Your tremolo is up here. It says tremolo. It's kind of hard to see it because unfortunately when I printed it on top of this manual, it overlaid on some other text, but hey, it's part of the character. So you got speed adjustment and intensity. And this toggle switch is what you turn your tremolo on and off with. You're probably wondering why didn't I put a pedal switch? This is a double pull, double throw switch because I have a different tremolo circuit. We'll go into that in a minute. Here's the back side of the amp. I utilized an old Jensen speaker. Right here it's a 6x9. It's actually about a 12 ohm speaker that came out of a Leslie tone cabinet. So it was a nice find. Very vintage piece. The chassis is obviously new stock. The tubes on top. Let's zing on a little bit here. The tubes. You have three of them, 6K6 Class A output tube, 6AV6, that tube does your tremolo, and then the 12AX7 is your preamp input. Down here is the power transformer, up here is the output transformer, and then it's all hand wired. So let's zoom in on that. Here's that perforated metal I was telling you about for the ventilating of these tubes. Mainly the 6K6 generates quite a bit of heat, so that needs to escape. You sure wouldn't want the wood 
right above that area. Okay, here's our wiring. Everything is on terminal boards. So your power supply section is tucked in back there. Right here is your tremolo circuit. Here's your volume and tone controls. Remember I told you I used a double pole, double throw switch for the tremolo. If you've read about tremolo circuits, even when they're off, sometimes they will affect the tone of your amp. So this double pole, double throw switch is used. One side actually kills the tremolo like you'd see on a foot pedal input. The other side actually opens the circuit that feeds the grid of the output tube. So the tremolo does not affect tone when you're not using it. So if you peek right here, you can see the cover artwork that I did. Like I say, it was laminated. It's just trapped between the front panel. Right there is my D-Lab signature for the build date, which was 14 September of 2018. And this amp will easily pop out of here. There's just brass screws with some lock washers. There's four of those. So if you take those out, this guy will drop out. The only thing you have to do is desolder these leads going to this external speaker jack. Other than that, this amp will pop right out for maintenance. This little support board you see a couple holes right there. That actually goes down through the bottom of the cabinet. So this gives you some center support because of the weight of the chassis and the speaker. Uh, close up here on the Jensen, so you can see how vintage she is. And there's the numbers on it. If you guys would like to look those up and verify that they are from a Leslie speaker. So there she is reinstalled. I didn't mention, but this is some vintage Fender speaker cloth. I think it was probably dated back into the 60s or so. I had a piece that was around here and it happened to fit that board perfectly. The other thing is, is this amp comes with service data. So there's a full schematic in case you ever have an issue with it. When you're not using it, of course, it'll close up just like a suitcase. Alright, so we got it closed up and one thing that's nice the original latches still work well, they're nice and strong. The handle here is worn, as you can see, but it's still usable. Adds to the character of the amp. On the sides, around here on the edges, you got this cool alligator type skin leather. Looks very nice. And one thing I had to do on the rear, you see these hinges. I had to add some brass hinges because the original hinging point was just the tweed material and over time that had become loose and I was kind of concerned of how long it would last. So the new hinges give her stability and hopefully another long life. As for the hum level of this Class A 6K6 amp, I've got the amp on. I'm going to put this guy right by the speaker, crank up the volume all the way. Here we go. Now turn all the way down. Dead quiet. Well there it is, another Leisure Suit amp has been created by D-Lab. So the next step is, what does it sound like? Well I just happen to have a guy here that played it and he loved it. You will be impressed with the tone that comes out of that old 6x9 Jensen. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, we'll try it. All right, man. Hmm. So this runs yeah. a little six by nine. Got a three water. You don't have to be jumping or groovy. You don't have to be on speed or taking down. Makes no difference. I'm told if you're young or if you're old, just think that I'm the coolest thing in town. Keep on rocking down.
I think I found what you've been looking for.